Hey YouTube, Brian Crazy here, F and True Wrestling. Uh, got a lot of news to bring you, so we'll jump right into it. Uh, the biggest thing first, at a house show in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, John Cena was injured. Uh, he, everybody thought that he might have had a broken leg, or this, that, or the other. Uh, on Jim Ross's blog this morning, he has confirmed that John Cena has uh, suffered what is called a hip pointer. Uh, it's a very devastating injury. does not require surgery, though. Uh, we will see John out of action for several weeks, if not close to a month. It can cause uh, bleeding in the abdominal area. Uh, basically, John's just got to take it easy right now. Uh, we'll see him on television. We probably will not see him in active competition, like I said, for several weeks. Uh, also on the injured list, Rey Mysterio. Ray has uh, suffered his fair share of injuries uh, this year alone. Uh, they're currently trying to keep Ray out of fighting as much as possible. That's why all of his singles matches with Alberto Del Rio have been turned into uh, three ways, four way matches, you know, two kind of late in the load on Ray Mysterio. Uh, WWE will not directly give him time to off. They feel like well, with SmackDown's dwindling roster, Rey Mysterio is what they need to keep the momentum going on Friday nights. Uh, back to the Cena, uh, John Cena uh, news. Uh, we see huge, huge news coming out of Monday night. CM Punk is now the leader of Nexus. After TLC, Wayne Barrett has been nowhere to be seen. We've seen David Otunga act like he is the quote-unquote leader but we find out that CM Punk is the one that's actually pulling the strings from behind the show. Now that John Cena is injured, the CM Punk-Cena angle they've been building up towards, are we going to now see a Barrett versus CM Punk angle to kind of fill the void? Uh, I guess it's up to WWE Creative, and we'll see what they uh, have in store for us. Uh, other big news, at WrestleMania 27, possibly there's going to be a WCW tie-in. Uh, WrestleMania 27 is taking place in Atlanta, Georgia. It will be the 10th anniversary since WCW uh, folded. WCW folded in March. Uh, WrestleMania happens in April, but it's okay. It's close enough. Uh, the momentum, the feeling is still there. Uh, we might see uh, Lex Luger, Arn Anderson, and Farouk. Uh, you guys might know him as Ron Simmons. Damn! Um, all inducted into the Hall of Fame. Also... On big WWE news, a uh, performer known as Austin Kong, she used to wrestle in TNA Wrestling. She has been signed by the WWE. She will go by Amazing Kong. So that is big news. Uh, she is a brute monster. I don't know any of the divas that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. I don't even think Natalia nor Beth Phoenix on their best day can give Awesome Kong anything. Uh, next... Undertaker. We've been doing updates on The Undertaker since the whole saga began back in June. Undertaker recently had surgery. They've been giving Michelle McCool a little bit of time off from house shows to help tend to Undertaker's wounds. We've seen Naomi Knight, who is a former NXT rookie, kind of fill in with Layla at some of these house shows to kind of lighten the uh, load on Michelle, like I said, while Undertaker's recuperating. We should see Undertaker uh, back, hopefully in time for WrestleMania. Uh, you know his streak must continue, uh, half injured or not. I'm sure he will perform. Uh, Caval, big news. Caval, if you guys have not heard, Caval has been released by the WWE. He asked for his release after finding out that the company had no uh, creative plans for him whatsoever, uh, which I find is a real shame. I think the World Warrior was one of the most fantastic athletes to come out of 2010 in the WWE. I mean, he was a big deal before WWE. Anybody that knows him, Loki, Senshi, are some of his former ring names. He has returned to Loki. Uh, check out his site. Show him support, please. Um, in the WWE or not, he's still a fantastic athlete, and he really should have been the Intercontinental Champion. The Dolph Ziggler angle is really getting old, which we'll get to in a minute when we get to SmackDown for this week. Um, 
I think that covers pretty much most big news. Uh, we'll jump right into SmackDown. We start off with a promo. Uh, Ziggler comes out talking about his match with Cena. Then we see Kofi and Swagger come out. A fight ensues. Teddy comes out. Says, hey, later on we're going to have a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Exciting main event. Um, kind of predictable. You know, what's going to happen. How many times have we really seen the title change hands? I think that's the, you know, the new current MO of the WWE. Titles don't change hands unless it's a pay-per-view. I mean, yes, we got to see Miz as WWE Champion on Monday Night Raw. But I think that was an extremely rare event. Last time we saw decent title changes on the weekly programming was back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, so after they cut that promo, we have Big Show go against Cody Rhodes. Uh, Big Show picks up the win after Cody Rhodes walks out of the match. Um, you know, Rhodes talks a big game, but when he gets in the you know ring with the world's biggest athlete, it's a whole different story. Um, you know, what's there to say? Big Show's a monster. He dominates. He should be in the title picture right now. I know he was busy with his movies. He's been plugging Knucklehead, this, that, or the other. But I think uh, the time for fun games is over. And I think it's time to see the Giant once again. Um, then we move into a tag team contest. We have Edge and Mysterio defeat Kane and Alberto Del Rio. Uh, we see... Uh, Rey Mysterio hit the 619 on Del Rio, then Edge hits the spear and uh, pinfall 1 2 3. Into that contest, we move on to a women's match. We have Natalia and Beth Phoenix tagging together, going against Team Laycool. Beth Phoenix does the glam slam on McCool and picks up the win. Then we go into the main event, which was a pretty decent contest, I do have to say. Uh, you know, I don't think Dolph Ziggler is a bad athlete. I think that the angle's starting to get dried up. I think he's a good champion. I think they see a lot in him. Uh, you know, this guy's taken. He was originally part of the Spirit Squad, squad. For you guys that don't know that, and for a guy that's taken that angle and managed to turn it into something successful, um, is pretty good. I think. I think it needs to be handled a little bit differently. And this is definitely cementing Jack Swagger in the temper and mid card for right now. We saw Dolph pick up the win after Kofi hit the trouble in Paradise on Swagger. And then um, Dolph rolled up Kofi real fast for a pin, one, two, three. Then we find out that it will be Kane versus Edge. Uh, main event, first SmackDown 2011. No, uh, Last man standing match. I almost said no holds barred. Excuse me. It is late. Uh, it's after 11 o'clock when I'm making this video tonight. But, uh, you know, guys, I want to make sure I brought you this information. Like I said, Cena has suffered a hip pointer. Uh, Mysterio was injured, but they're trying to keep him going. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, Undertaker should be back soon. Hopefully we'll see Triple H by the Rumble. A lot of big information. As it unfolds, we will bring it to you. We appreciate all of your support in 2010. 2010 uh, 11, excuse me, is only a few days away. We uh, hope that you continue to enjoy our videos and enjoy what we bring to you for uh, F and True Wrestling. This has been Brian Crazy. I know JC was also going to bring you some updates tonight, so check those out and have a great evening.